Hello, welcome to an exciting episode in the next in the series of the Plug and Play Tactic with Gateshead. I'm Magoobidge. We're in the National National League. Yeah, National League, that's where we are. And this is getting exciting, I have to say. This this is the Plug and Play Tactic where we're playing one tactic from the very first game of the first season and we're not going to change it ever. I'm just going to see how far we go with it. We won the title in the first season, if you've missed all this, and we're sitting second in the league. We're eight points behind Aldershot. We are f six points ahead of Barnett, so we're doing really, really well. But it's exciting. The last episode you saw, we lost to Dover but beat Barrow. But since then, we drew with Macclesfield in the first round, FA Cup, beat him in the replay on penalties. In between that, we beat Woking. We drew with Sutton and Barnett, two draws, which is why we've slipped to about eight points, nine points behind the leaders. We got through the FA Cup second round and beat Ebbsfleet away 3-0 to set ourselves up with a money spinner, a game away at Stoke, 30,000 crowd, hopefully will bump up my finances. So, to December, we beat Wrexham 2-0, we beat Harrogate 4-0, we lost to Torquay in the league, which is disappointing, again, which explains why we've fallen so far behind the league leaders. We played a rotated team in the FA Trophy first round and lost the game, which I'm not too bothered about. And we've just beaten Ebbsfleet 2-0 away. So, I did say at the end of the last episode, Stockport and Chorley will be the games. I'm going to give you a bumper episode today. It's going to be Stockport, Chorley and Stoke. Try and fit all of them in and see what happens. So, let's get into the first game. Now, we are the odds-on favourites against Stockport. They thumped us. Earlier in the season, as you can see here, they really did. They thumped us 4-0 away. So we're looking for revenge against this lot. But there's been a player that has come in. I'm continually trying to improve my team. So Fraser Preston has now come in on loan on the right-hand side for six months. He's from Sheffield Wednesday. Four-star ability, five-star potential. I wasn't getting enough out of tear, really. And him and Aga are now going to fight for that position on the right-hand side. But as you can see... I've also put an offer in for this guy, a loanee from Bolton, a centre-back. I can't quite get my centre-back pairings right, and yeah, so I put a loanee offer for him. Right, so to the team, and the team that's going to start will be the same game, the same team, sorry, that started last week. I'm going to bring Preston in on the bench. I've got Fletcher. Ter's going to come away from the bench, and I need a midfielder, and the midfielder will be Ravenscroft. So I've got Toby Lees, Preston, Fletcher and Ravenscroft on the bench. My team is James Bowler, McKenton and Gala Jones, Reed, Forbes, Ollie, Ager, Preston and Curry up front. Now, what's interesting is Greenfield, my youngster, is out injured. He's out injured for a month. He's been doing well, developing well. He's injured. I've also got Ryan Lambs out, but he's hardly been involved. Let's get into this game. Squad number one player, auto, 34, no problem. This is massive. We owe Stockport from the last game. They've got a guy that plays for them. Yeah, exactly that, we owe Stockport. McAlinden always scores against me. Now you have a bogey team, and I've got a bogey player. And this dude, he always, always scores against me. Is it Lewis or someone, McAlinden? Right, we need a win. We need to try and keep pressure up on Aldershot somehow. If we can get within sort of four or five points when we play them, early chance, Nagala heads over the bar. We can try and stick close to them so when we play them, the pressure's all on them. Right, it's been a good start from us, better. We'll ask the players to show some passion in this game. Jones. Ager picks the ball up, comes inside unchallenged and finds Reed wide left. Cross comes in and there's the header from Curry, and that's his 20th goal of the season. Curry's firing goals, Jordan Preston's firing goals, Fletcher's scoring as well. The goals are being shared around, but what a great move. One winger to the other, Cross comes in, and there is Curry, back post, unmarked, 1-0 Gateshead. Cartwheels and everything. Corner, Bowler's going to take it, swings it in. Another header saved by the goalkeeper, that time from Preston. What they're doing with it, they're playing with it at the back or they're living dangerously. Bowler's in on the left, crosses it in, Curry's there again, heads it wide. As we're getting through the season here, I'm beginning to see more fans behind the goal. The, the ground's beginning to fill. It's not going to be totally full, is it? But 
compared to what it was. There was what you can see now there. There was no people there at the beginning of the season. All on the one side. Things are going well, but you're capable of even better. Assertive. You weren't that bad. Just need these need two wins before we play Stoke. Shout demand more. But they've got a ball, which we clear. Preston drops deep, picks it up, gives it to Ngala, and goes back to James. James takes his time. Ngala again. McKenty steps forward. Give the ball away. He does. He gives it to Preston up top. Preston's in. The goalkeeper saves it. That was another chance. We need a second goal. Bowler takes it. Cross comes in. It's cleared. Preston to Curry. Gives the ball away. Right. An hour in. Let's have a look at what we're doing. So, Agus on 6.4. So, Fraser Preston's coming on to make his debut. How else? What else are we doing? Aaron Jones is not having a great game. Ollie's not having a great game. But I'll leave him on there. Just to pull the strings. Right. Demand more. Give Ollie 10 to 15 minutes. 6.5 Ollie. He's motivated. But they've now got a free kick. Swing the ball in a box. Back post. They've scored. Offside. Thank God for that. Was he off? I think he was. Yeah, he's well offside. Well offside. It's a warning. Right, so let's make these changes. Preston up front has dropped down to 6.5. So Alex Fletcher comes on. Ravenscroft, the other lone E, who's been here from the beginning of the season, comes on and replaces Ollie. Well, they got another free kick over the bar. Shout. Concentrate to the players. These last 15 minutes, this will be a big win for us if we can get it. But they're putting the pressure on and they've scored, as you can see. And who scored? Liam McAlinden. Always scores against me. Always. I might as well be by the bloke just so, so he can't score against me. Deary me. One all. Sucker punch. Can we get anything last knock into the game we drop back to 10 points behind all the shot with this result Ravenscroft into Reed. Reed strikes one just wide more points dropped unfortunately hand over to the assistant I can't be bothered to talk to them they've annoyed me so we're 10 points behind all the shot all the shot won 3-1 at Woking but we're 6 points clear of Barnet they have got a game in hand I need to pick a rotated team now to play Chorley. I need to rest the players. Here we go. We're odds on at home. So we need to try and win. I saw the big names rested for the game against Stoke. Team talk, assertive. Should be winning this one. Defence, faith in you. Show passion, I'm going to ask them in this game. Straight from the off rather than encourage them. Ollie and James are the only players that are playing that normally would. Right, corner. Barrett swings it in. He plays it back. To Keating, there's the header. Is he off? No, O'Donnell score, back post. Great routine. Celebrates in front of the cameraman. Yeah, look. Defender went with him but then stopped, which is why we still played on side. Where are Chorley? Chorley a second bottom. Need some goals today. Throw in. Headed away. McJanet, the lone Eos cover, crosses it in, and there's Fletcher. Scores. Alex Fletcher's fifth goal of the season. He's celebrating with the cameraman as well. 2 0 up, 25 minutes gone. This is good. Needed this. If we can get a third before half time, it'll be nice. He's on the side. Centre back's paid him on. Look. So that puts us eight points behind Aldershot. Eight points in front of Barnet with their game in hand, so that still gives us a bit of a cushion, even if they do win their game. What I want to try and do is at half time, I'm going to take Ollie off and James, the goalkeeper. I'm going to protect the both of them for the Stoke game. Hand over to the assistant, let him do that. So Lumsden's going to come on for James, and Forbes is coming on for Ollie, just to protect them for the game. Demand more from the players. Barrett's going to take the throw. Long one. Swings it in. Cleared. Comes back out to him. 
inside to Forbes, just on at half time. Barrett <clears throat> to Keating, looking for Fletcher, strike from Preston over the bar. Right, Chorley with a free kick, played it forward. Oh, God, dear me. My defender, what did he do? He just stopped. Cross comes in, headed away. Can we win it back? No. But we forced them backwards and away from goal, which is good. Last 20 minutes, we're winning 2 0. This is good from us. Bookings are mounting up. One thing with this tactic, you give away a lot of fouls because your plan gets stuck in as part of the tactic. You get a lot of yellow cards and a lot of bans during the season. But it's working. 2 0 win against Chorley. We'll take that. Let the assistant congratulate them. So, all the shot. They lost. Brilliant. Barrow beat Aldershot, which means we close the gap to seven points, which is good. When do we play Aldershot? Last game of the season. Oh, it's all set up, isn't it? It's going to be marvellous. Right, let's forward it on this bonus episode to the FA Cup third round at Stoke away. So a little bit of news here. Barnet played their game in hand and they've drawn away at Barrow, which does me a favour. They're seven points behind me. So here you go. Before the game, you can see we've got 223,000 in the bank. But my wage budget, hold on, wrong button. I'm slightly over my wage budget. I'm £250 over the wage budget. I'm trying to get rid of one of my players, which is not featuring, but it's not going at the moment. But hopefully this game and the money, we should get a couple of hundred grand for this. Right, let's praise Aaron Jones for his training. Criticise Barrow is a player I'm trying to get rid of. So here we go. We're playing Stoke. Currently Stoke. We are Stoke in the league. They're in the 15th in the championship. So they're odds on favourites. Team selection quick pick. Let's have a look. What's it giving me? Cooper's in. Don't want him in. McKenty suspended. Greenfield's injured. What options have I got? Lees. Where's Lees? Lees is suspended as well. Forbes suspended. That's what I mean about this tactic and the, and the tackles. Right, okay. So up front, they're playing... is picking Fletcher and Curry together. But I think that's hard on Jordan Preston. I'm a bit of a sentimental old sod, so I'm going to put Jordan Preston up front with Curry. But they play like this. So Fraser Preston, who's new, is on the right-hand side. He's in. Where's Aga? Aga's on the left, is he? Right, okay. So Kyle Reid. No, you're going to... You're coming on the bench for Barrow. Reed's a bit old, he hasn't got the legs, so I've got plenty of options on the bench here to change things, despite all the injuries and suspension. So the team to take on Stoke, James Bowler, Cooper Nangala Jones, Aga Perry, Ollie, Fraser Preston, Jordan Preston, Curry up front. Seems there's a good crowd in here, which is good, so that should do my finances marvellously well. We're underdogs. Passionate, I've got faith. Passionate, I have faith. Shout, encourage. Right, they've got an early free kick. Ball comes in and they've scored Edda straight from it. One minute, 50 seconds. Not a big crowd in by the looks of it. Probably about eight or 9,000 by the looks of it. 10,000. Not going to do my finances a world of good. Early blow. Right, they've now got another free kick. Play the ball up top. They're in behind. James makes an outstanding save. He's been brilliant this year. And last year. Right, Stoke with a corner. Can we clear it? Yes, we can. They've picked up second ball. Back out to Roberts, but Preston does great to make a challenge. Let's give this lot a bit of a jolt. Show some passion to the players. Let's see if we can grow back into the game. They're by far <clears throat> the better team. Roberts, another free kick, and they've scored again. Is he off? No, they've scored. Jack Harrison scored 2 0 Stoke. Disappointed with that. Yeah, goalkeeper beaten. Defence switched off. 2 0 down, unfortunately. Is he off? No, he's not offside. It's a good goal. Right, I'm going to just tell these guys to calm down a bit. Oh my word. 
What a goal that was by Tymon. Have I just seen that right? That's a scissor kick in midair. Look at that. Oh, dear me. You can't complain when you look when you can see the goal like that. We haven't even shown up in this half, and now Nagala's injured. There's gonna be changes at half time. We're free down. Disappointing. I thought we could at least put up a bit of a good show. Assertive, I'm not happy. Assertive, there's more to come. Assertive in the team talk. Tactics, right. Nagala's injured. So you're gonna play there. Baron's gonna play in there. Um let's protect some of my players. Ravenscroft. Actually, no, I'm gonna give it a go. Should we give it a go? Let's have a look. Fraser Preston come off for Tear and Carl Reed, you can come on for Aga. Demand some more from these players. Thirteen thousand. Right, we got a free kick. Ollie takes it into Barrett, who volleys it straight at Butland, the goalkeeper. Yeah, thirteen thousand nine hundred. That should be decent. About fifty grand, maybe hundred grand. It helps. Right, ball over the top. Gregory's in. Gregory's. God, I thought he was about to score. How's he missed that? Dearie me. Remember, we're this tactic is attacking, so can't change it. That's the rules. Right, they've got the ball again. Smith lumps the ball forward to Nagoya, who's beaten the defender, who's switched off. Easy attempt, and James smothers it and saves it. 1,100 fans from Gateshead have travelled, which is good to see. I was hoping for about 20,000 fans, but... We shall see what happens. Well, we've got a free kick. Can we get a consolation? Oh, off the crossbar and away. Jones plays it back to Ollie. Ollie. Cross is blocked. Goes for a corner. Can we get anything from the resultant corner? Barrett to take it. Swings it back to Jones and a complete mix up. And he applauds him. Don't know why. It's a complete mess. What did he do that for? Stokes got a free kick to make it four. What's the odds? There you go. Odds on, really, isn't it? Oh, dear. Four nil, which isn't a shock, is it, really? Let's be honest. But, you know, they're championship, championship side. We're National League. Just thought that we put a bit of a, bit, a better performance on and at least score, but you never know. We're uh, totally wrong there. <clears throat> okay, so let's just have a look at our finances. What difference did that make? 189,000 we got from that, which pushes our right up to 370,000. So that's it. So we find ourselves seven points behind Aldershot. We're seven points clear of Barnet. Things are going great in the league. We just need to try and keep winning and put pressure on Aldershot with the last game of the season playing them. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button for me and then subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next video that comes out. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Tried to be as real as it is. See you next time.